How's it going, guys? I'm excited to bring you another WizKids unboxing. So today I've got a brick of the uh, Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica pre-painted plastic miniatures. So we've got eight boxes here. And I, I just want to say before I get started, I don't know a lot about the Ravnica settings, so forgive me if I don't know what some of these things are. I'll take a look at the box art first. Forty-four figures in the set. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I uh, have no idea what's in these. I haven't looked at any other previews of them or anything. So let's just see what we get. All right, there's the guy on the side of the box right there. Um, I can start off saying I love it when they use the actual painted names on here. So we have the Crassus, uh, medium sized, I guess, 16 out of 55. So he looks kind of like uh, sort of a blue ET with four legs <laughs> and the big belly. So I don't know, half spider. Almost kind of looks like a hammerhead shark head, but I don't think that's what they're going for. Check my focus here. All right, I think we're good. Next up, we have a Simic Hybrid. So I do know a Simic is a human or elf that's been like crossed with some other animal. So this one, in this case, looks like he has a crab arm. So that's kind of cool. Oh, and that was number... 10 out of 55. Here we have a Fungus Drudge, 12 out of 55. Looks like some sort of undead. And here we have a Gruel Ogre, 26 out of 55. He's kind of cool. A little smaller uh, than normal ogre. Interesting. So that's box one. On to the next. All right, here we have a Fire Fist, three of 55. So yeah, it looks like a, some sort of a knight with a flaming sword. Don't know anything about that. I've got the book, I just haven't had a chance to read it yet. And the last time I played Magic the Gathering was a uh, revised edition, so it's been a while. Here we have a Blood Drinker Vampire, 17 of 55. And this looks like another of the... Another of the fungus drudges. For our large one, we've got a Sphinx of Judgment, 30 of 55. That's pretty sweet. Really like the wings, the sculpt on these wings. 
All right, box three. Light Phoenix. This is a pretty large mini, and it's not the large mini either. Small base, 18 to 55. So, some sort of magical Phoenix. And this would be a Blister Coil Weird, 13 of 55. See-through plastic with kind of a solid red blood look and kind of painted over it. Here we have a Conclave Dryad, 11 out of 55. Pretty cool. And for the large one, a Skyjack Rock, 31 out of 55, so that's kind of cool, pretty good sized. I dig it. All right, box four. Celestina Druid number five. I like this one. This is pretty cool. It's hard to find good Druid uh, minis. Alright, here we have a tiny one. Would be a cackler number two. A little imp with a big chain. This one's all wrapped up. Okay. And here we have it. Uh, Jarad or Jarad Golgari Guildmaster 23. So, assuming this is a named character of some sort for the setting, one of the Guildmasters looks like a dark elf kind of. And in the large, we've got a Ledev Guardian 29 of 55. Pretty cool. What? Large wolf. Clean up some of my mess here. All right, halfway through these. So there's number five. We get another of the Sphinx of Judgment. Here we have a Precognitive Mage, number one. Let's nice figure. And here's another tiny boy. Krenko Goblin Mob Boss, number seven. Let's 
All right. And another tiny, even tinier, a Azorius Homunculus, number 14. That's really tiny. Belt Stalker, number nine. Some sort of lizard folk type. It's cool, he's got a uh, blade lashed to his tail. That's pretty awesome. Here we've got an Orzov Advocus, 20 out of 55. Pretty nice paint job on this one. Good job on the face. Definitely make a uh, nice high level NPC of some sort. And here is uh, Lazav, the Demir Guildmaster, number 33. Nothing too exciting about that. And for the large, we have a Orzov Giant, number 32. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's definitely bigger than a regular person, but I wouldn't really call him a giant. But I don't know the setting, so maybe that's how giants are. All right, two more. Ooh, this one looks really cool. All right, we got Crowl Winged Warrior. Number 19, some sort of insect. It's capable of holding a weapon. Pretty cool mini, actually. I like the... I usually don't like the clear parts on the minis, but for some reason, that one works really well. On the paint job overall. Those are cool. And here's another of the Blister Coil Weirds. This one's interesting. An indentured spirit, number four. Kind of reminds me of uh, Wee Willy Winky. <laughs> I don't know why. Pretty cool. And then the large one for this, I think I'm going to save for last because it's pretty cool looking. So we'll see. We'll see if this next large one looks cool. Last box. Oh, it looks pretty cool too. Right. Okay. Look at this guy. Gruel Anarch, number 36. Some sort of gladiator looking guy with very large bones lashed to a staff. Ooh, I like this one. Here we've got a Mind Drinker Vampire, number eight. So he's levitating. Really cool. That's probably one of my favorite vampire minis I've seen. He doesn't look like a, 
Well, he, he looks evil, but he doesn't look like a stereotypical vampire, I guess. Very cool. And we have another large, small one. Large, medium. Oh, cool. This is the Death Pact Angel that was on the box. I did like this. Number 25. Very cool mini. Alright. Yeah, here's the large one for this current box. He is tied in here. One second. Rakdos Ogre, number 28. That is a cool looking dude. He's got chains and spikes with hooks on them. Yeah, definitely cool. You'd make an excellent uh, mini boss, at least. Very cool. And then we have and I'm not gonna wire cutters for this one. The Night Veil vale Spectre number forty two. Very awesome. So it's like a ghoul looking guy. Riding on sort of a bat winged, looks kind of like a dog, I guess. Very interesting. All right, that's it for the brick. Uh, oh, I do have one more thing. Uh, let me grab it. And by one more thing, I actually mean three more things. First, we have the Companion Star Set. So this is some nice um, uh, character minis or NPCs. I really like the elephant dudes. I forget what they're called. It starts with an L, I think. And I don't really want to open this because I don't want to get it mixed up. But... Uh, these are all in store now, so you should be able to find them. And then the set two. I like that little goblin. And this uh, wizard or whatever she is. And then last but not least, we have the big dragon. Niv Mazette. Pull my camera up a little. He's number 45. And I'm guessing that maybe these guys are numbered into the 55s. So I'm guessing the booster pack goes 1 to 45. This being the last one. And then these are the 46 through 55. The two sets. Anyway, here we go. Pretty large dragon. Uh, not as large as the gargantuan white. Mm, not much smaller though. 
Just a little smaller. His wings are actually maybe even bigger, but... Here's that guy. Pretty cool. Strange uh, head on him, the way his those flaps all around his head are. And he pops on here. Like so. Pretty cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this unboxing. Make sure and uh, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more unboxings and painting tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.